This method can help answer key questions in the avian virology field, such as how immunosuppressive viruses interact with B cells. The main advantage of this technique is that cells are more relevant than immortalized cell lines currently used in the lab. Though this method provides insight into how chicken cells respond to IBDV, it can also be applied to ALV and REV. This method reduces the number of birds in our research, and it's beneficial to the three R's, which stands for the replacement, reduction, and refinement of the use of animal in research. In a microbiological safety cabinet, Wash the BF in 30 milliliters of cold PBS at least three times. Transfer the washed tissue to a Petri dish and add 5 milliliters of a 1x collagenase D solution. Use sterile scissors or a scalpel blade to cut the BF into pieces that are less than 5 millimeters in diameter. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius with periodic gentle agitation for 30 minutes. After this, Use a sterile Pasteur pipette to repeatedly aspirate the mixture to encourage disintegration of the tissue. Add another 5 mL of 1x collagenase D solution to the tissue and incubate it at 37 degrees Celsius with periodic gentle agitation for another 30 minutes. Repeat this process, aspirating the mixture, adding fresh collagenase D solution, and incubating until the tissue is completely digested. Note that there will be small granules that will not dissolve further. Pass the digested cell suspension through a 100 micron cell strainer into 20 milliliters of 1x HBBS without.